the Trump presidency. And this afternoon, the president will travel to Dallas, Texas, to attend a GOP fundraiser amid a growing feud between him and two Republican senators. The pair of Republicans are breaking with the party lines and publicly criticizing Mr. Trump, holding nothing back. And the president is responding with very harsh words of his own. CBS 4 Seth Lemon is on Capitol Hill with the latest War of Words. Arizona Senator Jeff Flake says his decision to retire from Congress has freed him up to speak out against President Trump. The longer we go, the more this behavior is normalized, and, and that, that is a problem. We can't allow our dialogue to continue to coarsen. Flake published an op-ed in the Washington Post this morning saying Republicans can no longer remain silent, waiting for someone else to do something. Bob Corker is also retiring from the Senate and has been critical of the president's behavior, saying he debases the country. I stand by everything I have said. Blake told CBS this morning that he believes others will join them. I think that we have a responsibility as elected officials to speak out uh, when there's behavior that is just beyond the pale. And, and some of what we've seen, I think, uh, fits in that category. The White House is dismissing Flake and Corker and point to Tuesday's lunch with GOP senators where the president received a standing ovation after talking with the group. President Trump hit back on Twitter this morning, saying the reason Flake and Corker dropped out of the Senate race is very simple. They had zero chance of being elected now acts so hurt and wounded. I think that they were not likely to be reelected, and I think that shows that the support is more behind this president than it is those two individuals. Flake's approval rating dropped to 30% at home in Arizona. Seth Lemon, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Flake had raised more than $3 million for next year's re-election battle, but he was trailing former state senator Carly Ward in the polls. Ward is being supported by former White House advisor Steve Bannon, and Mr. Trump had tweeted his support for Ward as well.